the next round of the quiz. I hope you guys are ready. Everybody's ready. Okay. The reason why it <laughs> it is true is because mm -hmm. Kevin Sorbo's run, uh, you know, he burnt a lot of bridges and he needs to pay those bills. So, he <laughs> so did the new D triple C chairman, a moderate Democrat, Sean Maloney say, when you repeat it endlessly, you are amplifying and echoing a Republican talking point. And did he say that to Joe Scarborough about defund the police? True or false? And named after George Floyd. We don't support that. So when you repeat it endlessly, you are you are you are amplifying and echoing a Republican talking point. So we all have a role to play. What well, did, were, did you know? Uh, did, did a lot of media outlets uh, echo outside of uh, the usual suspects echo that defund the police mantra uh, Is it, that, that the Republicans were pushing? I think it's happening right now. I mean, I all right, Gary Cohen, former Goldman Sachs president returns pay to Goldman Sachs related to uh, the 1MDF, 1MDB scandal. So, of course, he was also in the Trump administration. And uh, the question, is it true or is it false? All right, two, one, zero. <laughs> of course he didn't want to give the money. Oh, of course. Right. Wow, I got that run right. Wow. Ooh, <laughs> After black people were the largest demographic to support Joe Biden, he met with Black Lives Matter within 32 days of winning the general election. Is that true or is it false? Mm, I don't know. Yeah, Joe 3033, no. 3, 3, yo, he cares about people. <laughs> he, <laughs> didn't, he didn't write that crime bill. He apologized the day after. So, so he did meet with uh, civil rights like leaders like Al Sharpton, but he didn't re meet up with the radicals or what he would say is a radical is BLM and the BLM. Mm. People. That didn't go so well for him. Yep. That means